Okay, let's say you've got one last copy of your project's DVD. Your hard drive has taken a tragic memory corrupting fall. The mini DV tape you had the project on and make duplications from has since melted in the windowsill that you forgot you placed it on. There is an alternative to simply dubbing the DVD, which won't give you chapters, and Maria Toto Zintle shows us how. Okay, so let's say you need to make a copy of a DVD that um, you no longer have the project files for, nor do you have the raw footage or a copy on DV tape. If you manage to make one copy for yourself on DVD, you're in luck because I can show you a way to make a copy of that DVD which included the chapters and the DVD motion menu that you made for it and everything. It'll be an exact duplicate of what you made um, and what you burned however long ago it was. So um, the way to do that on your Mac is to use a program called Disk Utility. So in the Finder menu at the top, uh, look for Go and go to a folder called Utilities. And you should be able to find a um, program here called Disk Utility. Double click on that to open it up. And it will take a couple of seconds here to, um, to boot up. And actually, while I'm waiting, I'm going to pop in the DVD that I need to make a copy of. It's a eight minute DVD. And so I am popping that in. And you'll see it load up here in uh, the sidebar window of the disk utility box that we have that we're looking at right now. Um, but actually, what might happen or what should happen is um, I, the DVD player, will actually um, want to play your DVD. And so um, you'll, if you've watched this before, which most likely you have, if you burned it on this computer, it's going to ask you. If, it, if you want to play it. And we're not going to play it right now, so I'm actually going to just kind of cancel it out and I'm going to quit um, the DVD player because I don't want to watch the DVD, I just want to make a copy of it. And so we do now see that the DVD that I put in um, is loaded. And uh, another helpful tip that I can mention is that if you go up to the help menu and um, you can type in type in copy a DVD hit return and you should get um, a few little helpful articles or tips on how to do that and so if for some reason it doesn't make sense what I'm saying uh, at least you, you can uh, have a printout of, of basically the directions that I'm about to go over with you and so I usually in case I forget myself, keep this to the side um, and I should refer to it should I forget some of the directions. So what you're going to want to do is actually select um, not the actual name of the DVD but the selection that's right above it and mine's uh, Pioneer DVD which is I believe the name of the DVD drive that I have. Um, you're going to want to select that and then under File you're going to go to New and pick disk image from disk one and then you should see the name of your DVD there so select that and then you'll have a pop-up here that comes up and I'm gonna give this uh, the copy of the DVD that I want a name and I'll just call it uh, Casa 2 and I'm gonna just save uh, it's actually going to create a file um, and I'm going to save that file to my desktop somewhere and I am going to uh, under selection for image format select DVD CD master and for encryption I, I usually just pick I just leave it at none and then I'll hit save and so what's happening now is that it's going to create this uh, CDR file that's going to load onto your desktop um, that's the first stage of, of recreating your DVD. Once it finishes this process, then you're going to be able to uh, come back here and um, actually burn the DVD. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to, through the magic of editing,
that only took a, a couple of minutes and it just finished. And so what happens is your CDR loads up into this uh, left panel here. So now we're ready to actually burn the DVD. So I'm going to click on uh, CASA2.CDR and I'm going to select burn. And my DVD uh, drawer just opened up and you'll get this pop-up window and what I'm going to want to do is pop in a DVD and it should detect it in a few seconds and I usually just select the maximum possible on my computer I have a iMac G4 and um, the fastest speed is four times and then after burning I usually have it eject the disk right away um, so all you have to do is select burn and you'll get another progress window that will uh, let you know how far or how long it will take through the magic of editing you should get a notice that says your the image CASA 2 CDR burned successfully and you can hit OK and that's it um, the other thing that I would do is I would insert your DVD that you just finished inside I would reinsert your DVD and it should prompt the DVD player to open up again and it looks like it's just about to and because it's an exact duplicate of the DVD we just made it actually thinks we watched this DVD before so I'm just going to click beginning of disk and there's my DVD with my motion menu and there I go my DVD is ready with chapter markers and everything